Well, we were keeping an eye on three major wildfires burning across Arizona tonight, two of them forcing evacuations. And one of the biggest is the Diamond Fire. The Sunflower community northeast of Fountain Hills was told to evacuate this afternoon. Now, the Diamond Fire started yesterday in the Tonto National Forest. Crews are strengthening fire lines tonight. Helicopters are doing bucket drops. An evacuation center has now been set up as well at the old bingo hall at the Wicopaw Casino near Fountain Hills. And that's where Lauren Clark joins us live with the latest. Lauren. Hey there, Brian and Linda. I've been told 15 to 20 people have been impacted as a result of that go order. Now, we're actually very close to where the flames are, and I really want to draw your attention uh, to the terrain here. Where we're standing north of the Beeline Highway on the 87, very rugged land, and that's been proven very difficult for fire crews this evening. As you can imagine, it's been really hard for firefighters to try to get up that, so they've really had to try to attack this with air resources. That's been proven pretty hard to keep those flames under control. Now, I spoke to a representative of the Tonto National Forest. She tells me that lightning strikes are what caused this fire. She said actually uh, a group of thunderstorms caused multiple fires in this area, but this is by far the largest. 642 acres have been burned as a result. A combination of the wind, the heat, and the terrain have been causing challenges for three hotshot crews, seven engines, and 110 people trying to battle the blaze, but progress has been slow so far. We are at zero percent still with fire containment, and I can say that we have worked all day long with uh, VLATs, very large air tankers, and large air tankers uh, to get some containment on this, on this fire. And it has helped, but we are still at 0% containment. And meantime, some Yavapai County residents are being told to evacuate right now because of the racetrack fire. It's burning in the area of Federal Mines Road in the town of Cherry near the town of Dewey. It's unclear how much the fire has burned or how fast it's moving. Authorities are urging residents to evacuate towards Camp Verde. An emergency shelter is expected to be set up there. And back here to the Diamond Fire, we're being told more resources are on the way starting tomorrow. And there's also that evacuation center set up at the Wicopac Casino. There's also going to be an evacuation center for the racetrack fire. That one is going to be uh, at the Red Cross in Camp Verde. Now make sure you say as you watch us right here at Fox 10 Live at 10 and AZAM as we continue to give you the most up-to-date information on these fires as we track them. Reporting live here in Sunflower, Lauren Clark, Fox 10 News. All right, Lauren, thank you again. The evacuation center for the Diamond Fire is at the old bingo hall at the Wico Paw Casino. The address, 102424 North Fort McDowell Road. Also, the evacuation center for the racetrack fire is at the Red Cross Center in Camp Verde. That's located at 273 South Main Street. And then there's the Grapevine Fire burning in the Prescott National Forest and prompting a possible evacuation tonight. The Yavapai County Sheriff's Office is warning White Horse Ranch residents to be prepared to leave and to pay attention to alerts in case of an update. The fire has burned at least 140 acres east of Prescott Valley. 200 firefighters are battling the Guzzler fire tonight. That's the one in northern Arizona that was sparked by lightning on Wednesday. Since then, it's scorched more than 1,500 acres in the Sitgreaves National Forest, 15 miles northwest of Heber Overgard. The containment is at about 22% tonight. We have got to go check in early with Crystal with a look at the impact of the weather on tonight's fires. We, we're hoping for rain, but we might get some wind. Yeah, so we've been watching the winds as a result of these fires. Lightning is what sparked a lot of these in the last couple of days. And let's look at the evacuation zone so you can kind of visualize what we were just describing. We're beginning in Yavapai County here, so you can see just outside of Camp Verde, you've got right now the racetrack fire. The area in green is that that's in go, meaning people are evacuating just north of the fire. This is to the area south of Cottonwood. And then along 169, this area in yellow, this is south of the Grapevine Fire outside of Dewey. This also in set, meaning folks are preparing for a possible evacuation. Then we head down to the Diamond Fire, and you can see it's a little area that's being evacuated that Lauren was just talking about on the west side of 
87. This is between Payson and down to Fountain Hills that we're looking at that. So now that you know where those evacuation zones are, look at the winds. Gusts today picked up to 32 miles per hour in Payson and around 25 in Mason. We had peak gusts at 60 miles per hour in Sedona. So those strong winds are what helped to move the fire today. The good news is if you look at the winds now, much lighter between Prescott and Payson, only around 5 to 10 miles per hour. We're going to talk more about the potential for rain tonight and into the work week coming up.